supposed to be glitchy, but you know, screwed up. So it can't be like, I noticed a pedestrian walking from the car. Why is that? You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, it's far, I, 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 no, I, and I don't mind getting asked anything. Like I've always said, you know, you guys are my friends who do this. Also, a, a lot of you, you know, are thanking us. Thank you. Thank you for doing our business. Yeah. Yeah. The least we can do is buy you a beer and give you some kind of appetizer. Hang out with you. Yeah. Awesome. How you guys going? Um, just want to make a quick note. That was my friend dressed as Cammy last night at the bar. And yeah. Greg, you walked right by her to go take a picture with the Ghostbusters, which was hilarious. Yeah. She was completely fine now. And we were like, whatever, Ghostbusters. I'm in. I came back. I came you, to the yeah, you did come back, but the first time it was hilarious. Um, my question would be: As games get more and more cinematic, and you get like the facial expressions down and everything like that, Red Dead Redemption, L.A. Noire, and even Uncharted, is there actually a filmmaker that you want to make like? Go full into a game and make one. You say a filmmaker? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, Quentin Tarantino. I know Guillermo del Toro making one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I love Quentin Tarantino. He's not a big gamer though. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of old school like that. I mean, we have to see how the Guillermo, the Guillermo del Toro goes <laughs> out. I mean, it's one of those things where it's not super translatable. I mean, it, you know, on the surface it sounds like it is, right? And I would love great storytellers to come over and work with it, like you know, whoever. You know, whoever you can pick, whoever your favorite storytellers to come and say, like, you know, oh, Naughty Dog, I have an idea for a game, it would be like this, how can we make it happen? That's how I'd like to see it be. Ty, you like to make a film buff? I am. Um, you know, it's it's tricky because I always worry about the, uh, I always worry about filmmakers coming in trying to make games, just like I worry about game developers trying to go and make movies, but I do think that the good storytellers of Hollywood have a place in the gaming industry, and I hope they stick around, because they make some... Those, those storytellers, you know, bio, uh, bioware, hire some great guys. So, as long as they keep their stories going, I'm, I'm, I think it's great. So, a lot, a lot. Hey guys, Yo. Uh, Greg, I had a quick question, infamous two. What's a new uh, ability or uh, power? Anything that you'd like to see in the game? I'd like to see them add. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the, so it's not announced. H have they announced uh, power shift? Uh, oh, you mean like, like oh, once you uh, or some kind of thing? I would love like some kind of uh, electric jump. <laughs> that, like I mean, you know what I mean? Like you, so you could get a, you see a power line above you and you could boost yourself up. Not fly really, but you give yourself a electric jump. That's stupid. I won't name it, but you could see they would have a little effect. <laughs> Thank you. Next. With all these sequels coming out, when do you think we'll be seeing? Um, more newer IPs and yeah. that's, that's the that's a million dollar question. Well, that's like a question. I mean, they've been asking that about video games for years and years. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sequels though. Yeah. I guess wait. If you guys, I guess if you guys stop buying sequels and start making yeah original IPs, <laughs> the movie industry is going through the same thing right now. So I mean, essentially, it's, it's like like Damon said earlier, vote with your wallet. You know, stop buying really stupid bad sequels. Well, keep buying good ones. Yes, that's true. Like good ones, that, like good ones, but also the new IPs. You know, they, they need to. We need to start really also when a new IP comes out. You know, I'm sure there are a lot Support. of sequels, but like I'm glad we're getting a sequel to Batman: Arkham Asylum. Totally. Right that's, that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, as long as there's a good story to tell, I'd like to keep doing it. And I'd, I, I think it, it, I'd like to think you'll move more towards it being related to a console life cycle. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, you know how uh, uh, Naughty Dog, they did Jack and Daxter on PS2, and then PS3 came around, they're like, we're doing something different. So, I don't know, PS4 comes around and do something different again. Sir? Hi, my name is Malcolm, and uh, I had a question as far as production of stuff at IGN. Like, on average, how long are you given to beat a game, and afterwards, how long does it take to write the article afterwards? It totally depends on the game. Uh, you know, Clements will spend a lot of time reviewing a Japanese RPG. Um, but you know, I'll maybe. play two minutes of Naughty Bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, if it's a smaller, uh, you know, downloadable game, you can, you know, start playing it in the first thing in the morning and have your review up at the end of the day. You know, you've seen everything that you need to see in the game. So, totally depends on what type of game. Yeah, case by case. If it's like a story-driven game, you know, we're gonna put the time to, uh, you know, play the game to completion. If it's uh, you know, a puzzle game, something like that that doesn't have like an ending, we just, you know, it. We always just tell people, spend enough time with it that, to where you feel comfortable reviewing it. And that's going to be different from reviewer to reviewer and game to game. Thank you. That's general. Uh, are we, can we, we're, we might I know we're past time, yeah. but is 
Anybody have a thought? We're in the last panel, yeah. So let's just finish off this question. All right, here we go. And then we'll all come up here. We'll enjoy brownies together. Yes. We'll shake hands. Yes. We'll take photos. We'll sign stuff. Yeah, we'll totally hang out with you guys. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Hey, guys. We guys, I love Rewind Theater. And uh, what are you looking, for, looking forward to most from Arkansas? Farm City. Farm City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I, I'm a story. Like, I love, like, that's my thing. Like, I just, you know, love comic book tales, right? So, like, I can't wait to sit down and just see how Catwoman and Batman will play out, what exactly is happening, what my goal is really, you know what I mean, I'm not trying to get rid of Arkham City, am I just trying to keep people from killing each other, stuff like that. I, it's a much more open world to explore this time around, uh, you'll be able to see like far into the distance and you'll notice something that looks interesting, you'll be like, oh, I'm going to check that out, and you can actually make your way over there, it might take you a while to get there, but you can actually go there and check it out, so that sounds exciting, I like exploring games, that's what I like doing, I like running around and finding stuff. Thank you. No problem. This isn't really much of a question for you guys, except that you've got to get Javi more money. He's the funniest <laughs> thing that has happened. Sell the T-shirts directly from the IGN website. Yeah, we have, we have Legend Store of awesome Coming very soon, soon. including iPhone 4 and <laughs> there's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's in beta right now. So yeah, hopefully within the next month or so. We thought it would have been launched by now. Yeah, we, we, we thought it would have been launched a long time ago. But yeah, you'll be able to buy the Doctor Who T-shirts. It's coming. T-shirts and Beyond T-shirts and beyond. you will be able to. Yeah. Use yeah. So Greg, has anybody punched you in the balls yet? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Who punched you in the balls? I just keep telling everybody who asks me, I go, yeah, so I don't get punched in the balls. Oh, oh hi. Uh, I was walking around the convention uh, floor and saw StarCraft, the board game. So I was thinking, what was your favorite game that is now a board game of the show? Wow. I did not, I didn't really look at the board I guess StarCraft, the board game. <laughs> So I didn't see anything. Didn't look at any board games. So way to shit the bed with that question. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> nice. <laughs> These guys are awesome. I love having you on. You guys are great. That's awesome. Um, yeah, grab that mic. Go to it. I just wanted to say my name is Andre. I come from Montreal. Uh, yeah. Woo! Uh, you know Charles? <laughs> Uh, Sprint sent me up here for some raffle. That's the first time I see you guys. You guys are awesome. Cool. My buddy is a huge fan of you guys. I, I hate podcasts, but I just take this one. Out. There are 199 more for you to go download. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hey guys, I was just wondering, what do you think is the next generation of gaming in terms of what do you think is going to be the new invention, or do you hope to see in terms of like, for example, Connect was a pretty big thing to come out. Um, for Ellie Noir, it was big because of facial recognition. What do you hope to see, or what do you think will happen next that will really change the gaming world? What, I, what I've always hoped for, and I hope to see in my lifetime, is actual like uh, virtual reality, like Matrix style games. I know Sony has actually experimented with uh, with this using some sort of a, a wireless system that. Transmits, uh, I know this sounds weird. Transmits wireless information to your brain and tricks your brain into thinking you're somewhere else you're not. So it can trick your brain into thinking you're in a castle and you're Very in a brain something. Tumors. So what if you die in that game? You die in a lot too. That doesn't sound fun to me at all. I don't like that. No, I, don't, I hope in my lifetime I'm going to be able to experience actual virtual reality gaming where you're actually in a game. That's what I've always hoped for, Greg. You think, I'll, you think I'll ever see that dream come true? Yeah, it's going to be cute chameleon too. <laughs> As far as yeah, the next demands, I think it would just be getting more and more realistic, right? That it, it, like you talked about uh, the Eleanor faces, right? Like seeing that more. For me, like this sounds so stupid, but like what'll break me out of the game is like when there's a really dumb texture somewhere. Like you're walking in like grass, it's just like this brown and green like collection of lines. Like, so, like someday someone's gonna crack that and make the little because it's the little stuff, right? It's the little details that make the experience completely. And I just don't want there to be 3D gaming. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I want that to stop. What's your name? Whitney. Whitney, what do you want to see for the next generation of games? Kind of 
what you want to see. I want to really develop myself more into games when I play them. I really want to throw myself into them. I saw the demo for Ellie Noir and I was impressed, but I thought they could have done a better job with the amount of, with the amount of money they spent on it and how sophisticated the technology is. I was hoping to see something a little bit closer to, don't hate me, Avatar. Because um, as stupid as that movie was, the technology was groundbreaking. So I want to see something close to that with gaming because I think it'll really bring a lot more people into it. Yeah. Did you see the new the demos for the new uh, the next Unreal Engine? Did we have an idea? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty, pretty phenomenal. It's pretty great, right? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. No problem. Hey, uh, so Greg, you may remember me from the Uncharted 3 uh, making up thing. Yeah, uh, yeah so I yelled at I tweeted, I'm in the Uncharted 3 panel, blah, blah. Because somebody yelled beyond at me when we were waiting for the panel to begin. I'm like, oh, yeah, so it, you know, yell beyond when you see me, and blah, blah. Somebody, I want more beyond in this panel. Thinking, like right there at that moment, you would be, oh, we all, ha, ha, ha. Uh, the Uncharted panel starts, they show this behind the scenes video, the lights start to come up, every claps, and just as it goes silent, he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's already from Naughty Dog, and one of the designers, and the two player co-op guys, and they just, they just go, nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, this is for like some old school Game Scoop listeners. Uh, right now, we actually have Javi Rodriguez and the one and only Harris Foster in the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think we can actually get this Game Scoop game to come to life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, were starting, they were working on the Game Scoop video games many years ago. I've been waiting for the behind the music on this one. <laughs> <laughs> the trail, the friendship, the <laughs> sort of the ball Also, we have a whole bunch of faces. Devin, too. Super fan Devin. Oh, yeah. Super fan Devin. See this here? Woo! Alright. Yeah. Oh, we're going to Matt Jones couldn't make it this year. Of course not. Yeah, that's what I say too. But I, I can feel him with his box right now. <laughs> He's watching over us at this very Ladies and gentlemen, we've we'll arrived at the last question. Make it good, man. Woo! No pressure. And uh, just over here, Greg, my robot penis is bigger than your robot penis. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a robot penis, I'd like to get down on it. My life dreams are all set now. <laughs> My last question is, um, do you guys have, what's the most uh, memorable memory you have about a game in terms of emotions? And I'll give you my example, like games like um, Ico, I was really worried about actually losing the female character for some reason, and or uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, I was mashing my button as hard as I could just so you could get towards the end, and I realized now I probably could have made it without me charging <laughs> the control. So, what's your experience? So who beat uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 2? Yeah, so that was a really emotional yeah. moment for me. I don't want to spoil it here because I know people actually haven't played it. And it's actually, yeah. it's pretty heavy. So that's why I keep waiting, waiting, waiting for episode three. No, they know people, they know people like, they're not going to make that anymore. <laughs> left for day, left for day. Another left for day, that's what we want. How about you, Greg? Um, <laughs> you all know I have no long-term memory. Uh, every, <laughs> you also probably know, I would murder every one of you to have Alina Fisher be real. <laughs> <laughs> Make a nice life with her. So probably, like, I was. Like, Emily Rose. I was totally. Un well, I mean, uh, the character. Yeah, yeah but she's I really single now too. No, she's married. Uh, trust me. I follow Emily Rose. <laughs> <laughs> if Emily Rose is having some kind of fucking problem with her marriage, I don't even know about it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now, uh, yeah. So like, in Uncharted 2, when it looked like she was gonna die, I, I wasn't like teared up or I was like, oh, are they really gonna do this? Like, it was that moment of questioning what was gonna happen. Just like in Toy Story 3, the movie. Oh man. Like, oh, they're really gonna melt. Man. Yeah. I have to ask, is anyone in here an old, like, who, who's your old school PC gamers? Okay, so who here has played Accolade Star Control 2? Wow, we got some uh, So that game was like a treasured memory in my lifetime. Um, I remember playing it, and this is one reason why I like Mass Effect so much, because I just love traveling around star systems, talking to like alien life. I remember the, the crowning moment was when I, uh, I had sex in the game with an alien creature. Yeah. I remember, like, not, I was so young, I didn't know what was going How on. How old was I? I was like 12, 11. I don't know. Anyway, I was so young, and the lights went off, and she starts kind of talking dirty, and you're like, I'm like, I'm really confused. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> and I had to get, like, my friend's older brother told? to explain it to me. <laughs> exactly. But uh, anyway, that, that game holds a special place in my heart. And if anyone actually has played it, props to you. It's one of my favorite games. All right, this is it. It's the end of uh, IGN Games. We've episode 200. Thank you so much to all of you for coming out tonight. Thank you guys for coming out. It's amazing. We really, really appreciate it. But thank you, Ty. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, all of you.
My name is David. This is IGN Games 2. And we're out.